Hello, this is Mr. Scott, and uh, I'm going to run the lab here for you. Uh, so right now you have the free response test portion open. Uh, I would recommend you getting your ion sheets available. You're going to try to predict the products of this double replacement reaction. So I'm going to show you visually what it looks like, and you're going to do the chemistry formula, balance the equation, uh, determine the states of matter, and determine what solid form. So the chemicals that we have here today, uh, let me turn these around so you can see them. We have some iron nitrate, and you should know now that that 0.1 M stands for 0.1 molar. That's how concentrated it is. And then on this one, this chemical here, we have sodium carbonate. And this you'll see is 0.2 molar. Now for your purposes, the molarity doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna mix some of those inside a test tube. So let me get a test tube. All right, here's my test tube here. I'm gonna set the iPad aside here. Get my test tube going. All right, I'll put it in the third slot there. So hopefully you can see the test tube. In the, oops, sorry. So hopefully you can see the test tube in the third slot there. All right. Now I'm gonna take some of the chemical, the iron nitrate. I'm gonna put it into that test tube. I'll go ahead and take a couple of squirts so you can see it there. All right. So you should see it's still that yellow liquid. All right. And now I'm gonna take some of this sodium carbonate. Some of you might remember this out in lab because you did a similar experiment. All right. And now you see the, the color has changed here. I don't know how well you can see this here. I'll let that focus. You definitely got a solid that's forming in there and you have a liquid that's in there. And it's gonna be your job to do the chemistry and figure out which is which. Now sometimes a chemist might use a centrifuge machine so that it separates the solid from the liquid. So in this particular case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this test tube into the slot here. Now I'm gonna set another test tube in the opposite slot so that it gives it acts as like a counterbalance because this is gonna spin very fast rate. So I'm gonna turn on the centrifuge and I'm gonna hold the machine a little bit with my hand but not get too close to the glass. And when you see this machine, it gets up to about 100 miles an hour. spinning those chemicals. I'm holding it because if I don't, you can see it starts to move. All right, now I'm gonna flip it off. Slow it down just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna take my chemical out. So here's the empty test tube. I'll put that away there. And then here's the test tube now. And now you can definitely see that reddish brown solid has all clumped to the bottom because it's spun at a high rate. So your job now as a chemist here is to now use your ion sheet to determine the products of the double replacement reaction. So just like, like we practiced, this is gonna be your A, this is gonna be your B, and then you've got C and D there. All right, that's as much help as I can give you. Uh, this is Mr. Scott. Take care.